it is distressing. It's not a developmental disability hindering Eric's financial independence, but the work of identity thieves. They went on a spending spree with my name. A Sarpy County detective says a suspect used Eric's name, birth date, and social security number to open a line of credit and buy $1,500 worth of games and gadgets at a GameStop, but didn't stop there. Made a new account at Walmart for about $1,600 and has made numerous other attempts to open up lines of credit all throughout the metro. A female accomplice joins the identity theft suspect on the spending spree. Eric and his mom don't know them or how they got his personal information. Sit on the phone for hours and hours and hours trying to sort everything out to tell them it wasn't me. While clearing his credit of unauthorized charges, Eric learns financial independence requires caution to keep personal information out of the hands of identity thieves. There he is, buying all that stuff in your name. I want to give him a new pair of silver handcuffs <laughs> for Christmas. Though buying games and more, the misuse of a disabled man's personal information makes this crime grand theft ID. In Sarpy County, Mike McKnight, WWT6 News.